hello besties so today i'm going to be making some spring and easter signs for my decor i am going to also be working on two other projects i'm going to be making a riser and i'm also going to be using those little dollar tree boxes i'm finally going to work on that project as well and you guys i couldn't decide if i wanted to purchase the saw right here or if i wanted to get the salt and pepper shakers that i showed you guys in my last video so i decided on the saw i knew i would use the saw a lot more than the salt and pepper shakers These are the little boxes that I purchased over at Dollar Tree. I didn't get a clip of me gluing them, but I just used hot glue. I still can't find my E6000 glue. So I'm just going to stain all of them and then I'm going to be putting the little pulls on them. I purchased these little drawer pulls off of Amazon. I can't remember if they were like seven or eight dollars for the pack, but I just think they look so nice on here once they were all glued on. I do plan on staining the inside because I feel like it will make it look a lot nicer and like if it's all one piece because I didn't stain the inside. I feel like when I open it, it just looks so bright. I don't really like how that looks. I'm going to be making a wooden riser. I picked up all of the supplies over at Hobby Lobby in the wood section. I really like the way it came out. I ended up painting it with my Waverly chalk paint. And I think at the end, I ended up spending about 6 or $7 to make it. I was able to use my 40% coupon when they still had the coupon at Hobby Lobby. Next, I'm going to be working on my dandelion sign. So I'm just going to paint my board green. I wasn't too sure what color of green I wanted. And I just had two different colors, like one light green and one dark green. I started off by mixing them and I didn't like the color. So I ended up using the darker green, but I thought it was too bright. So at the end, I did use some chalk to kind of fade it out. And I really like how it looked at the end. So while my paint is drying, I'm going to be working on this next sign right here. And my daughter came in. You guys, this sign right here, I had purchased it at Hobby Lobby a while ago. But I just didn't like it anymore. So I decided to paint over it. And I started off by painting it white. I'm not really sure why I did that. Because I had already thought about painting it black. But for some reason, I gave it three coats of white. And then I realized that I wanted it black. So I had my daughter help me because this video was taking me forever already. So she was so nice and she painted it black for me. So she came in here to show me that with the other paint that we were using that when she was blow drying it, it kind of faded in the middle. So I ended up using the Waverly chalk paint on that one as well. And at the end, it came out really nice. You guys will see that coming up next. I also ended up using the Waverly chalk paint on this welcome peep sign and I didn't have any bleed through and I really liked that it dried really quick. So I will be using that in the future. Maybe I should go and purchase some more of the chalk paint. I was also thinking about going over to Sherwin Williams after somebody left me a comment saying that that paint really works well on stencils. So I might try that out. Thank you. 
So next I'm going to be working on this sign that we made for Valentine's Day. I had some paper hearts on here and I had it on that little bench next to my fireplace. So I took off the hearts and I'm going to be adding these little bunnies with some of that tacky stuff from Hobby Lobby. The one thing that I really like about this sign is that I can switch up the paper for each season. So I've been really liking that. I was thinking for um, the 4th of July to get some new paper for some stars. So I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do, but so far that's the only idea I have. If you guys have any ideas for the 4th of July um, so I can cut out some of that paper from Hobby Lobby, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. For this next project, I have been wanting to make a kitchen sign so I can put it above my microwave. I have like a space above there that is just bare. I try to put signs up there, but I really wanted one that was more specific to my kitchen. So I ended up using um, a wreath template off of the Cricut Design Space. I do have the membership, um, so I was able to um, just pull a wreath from there and then I added the letters um, that I wanted and I just think the sign came out really nice. So for this sign, I'm actually just going to be using the vinyl. I'm not going to be painting it. I just think that the vinyl has a really nice and bright look to it. And on the black, it's just going to pop and look really nice. So I'm not going to use it as a stencil. So my dandelions were not fitting on my sign and that was because I was originally going to split these two and put one on each but then I wasn't really liking it when I was outside making the signs. I just thought it would be too much so I decided to put both of them on one. So I ended up cutting up my stencil so it can fit on this smaller sign but at the end it came out really nice. I was having such a hard time removing the transfer tape and that was because I was running low on the transfer tape so I decided to use the same one that I used on my kitchen sign. That was a big mistake. I don't know if it wasn't um, attaching right because I was putting it on the chalk but it was just a huge mess. It took me a long time to fix it <laughs> at the end it ended up working but oh i wouldn't recommend it i don't know if that was because i had the chalk on the bottom i'm assuming it was because of that so here's my daughter again helping me she was so nice
so here's all of my signs i think they look so nice i love the dandelion one also the welcome peeps one <laughs> just all of them you guys i'm so happy that i finally finished up my kitchen sign as well i am really excited to put all of the signs up so hopefully sometime during this week i have my home tour up i'm planning on maybe on thursday or friday so i hope you guys come back to watch that thank you so much for watching have a great day bye besties